Hi, um, I wanted to talk to you today about um, what I read in the Bible. I'm so excited I just had to share it with you. Well, first of all, I got to reading, I, I'm in reading Second Peter in chapter 3. And I got so excited I had to share it with my husband. And then I got to thinking, well, why not share it with everybody else too? So I had to share it with you. And I was wanted to read, um, t tell you what I found out. And um, first thing I wanted to talk about is Jesus is returning. And um, he could come back at any minute. It could be a second from now. I mean, I might not even get this YouTube taken. Or he could come back at 10 years from now or 100 years from now. We don't know. It says in the Bible he, could come as a, he will come as a thief in the night. Nobody knows except for God when he's coming back. So we need to be prepared. And First Peter was talking about us needing to be prepared for when Jesus returns. And he also talked about how we should live on the earth um, as Christians. Um, are, are we being prepared as we prepare for his return, as his hope in his returning? And um, he talked about um, how uh, we are to live spotless and blameless lives. And um, some people might say, well, I can't be perfect, so I might as well sin. Well, Jesus was perfect, but we can't, we're not Jesus. And we can't be perfect. But the Bible says to make every effort to live a spotless and, um, a spotless and blameless life. So we're supposed to make the effort, no matter if we can be perfect or not. We're, we can't be perfect, but we're supposed to make the effort to try to be as perfect as we can to follow Christ, not just as um, not a set of rules, but a, we have a relationship with Jesus, and so we need to follow Jesus as closely as we can. We get we to have a relationship with Jesus. We really need to get to know Him better, and the more we get to know Him, the more we'll want to follow Him and obey Him. And the more we want to follow and obey him, the more we'll get to know him. It's like a circle. And, and Jesus loves us so much. And he, he, um, he is my hope. And um, he talk, Peter talked about the second coming of Jesus when he comes back for his, um, for his church. And, that, and we are the church. Um, Christians are the church. Um, it's not just the building. It is um, we're called the temple of God because the Holy Spirit lives in us. There's the God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And uh, in the beginning, uh, God created the world. He created the heavens and the earth and all mankind. And then man decided he didn't want to do what God told him to do, and so he sinned. And so man has been sinning ever since. But since um, sin is against God, it is it takes us away from God and it makes God sad because he wants us to be happy and 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 he wants us to love him and and he wants what's best for us and sin isn't what's best for us and so um, the only um, cure for sin is death that's the punishment for sin but Jesus um, is God's son and God loved us so much that he sent Jesus his son into the world to die for us and he died on a cross um, many years ago and um, and then, but he did, and he, when he died, he took our punishment for our sins on him, and he paid our punishment for us. But it doesn't end there. He lives because three days later, after he died on the cross, he rose again, and he started walking the earth. And then he uh, he talked to people, and he talked to his disciples on earth. And then he went to heaven to be with Jesus, with God the Father. Now he didn't leave us alone. All Christians ha who live after Jesus left earth have the Holy Spirit, which is God's Spirit, living inside them. And God is with us wherever we go, and, w and he will never leave us nor forsake us. Now you're asking, well, who is, um, how can we become Christians, and, and why should I become a Christian? Well, um, one reason you should become a Christian is because this life on earth is not the only life there is. It's life there is life after death and if you're not a Christian you're gonna to go to hell which is a very 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 terrible place but if you go if you're a Christian you're gonna to go to heaven and it's gonna be awesome there is so much love in heaven there is no tears in heaven the Bible says there's no tears in heaven 
and it's just a wonderful place. And if Jesus comes back, he's coming back. Well, when Jesus comes back, not if Jesus comes back, but when be Jesus comes back, if he comes in our lifetime, then we won't even die. We'll just go straight to ha um, straight to be with him to take us to be with him. And it's so exciting because um, I have hope. There is someday going to be a new heaven and a new earth because this earth will be destroyed because of the sin. Now there will be a, one, a new heaven and a new earth where um, it was the, the righteousness will prevail and and it will be all so awesome and so good. But only Christians will be able to go because anyone who does not follow God won't be able to go. They'll be in hell, and and there's no reason to go to hell because He gives us every opportunity. Because Jesus loves us so much, he died for us. He gave us every opportunity to live for him. And so there's no reason to go to hell. We can choose to live for him right now, and, and we need to. And so I got to thinking today, how am I living and being prepared for when Jesus returned? And I had some questions going through my mind. And I got to thinking, uh, see, um, am I living a spotless life? Um, or... Um, Peter in Second Peter chapter three talks about thinking wholesome thoughts, and so am I thinking wholesome thoughts? What am I putting into my mind? Is um, like the saying goes, garbage in, garbage out. Am I watching TV and movies and books that are not of God that just have sinful stuff like sex between um, unmarried people and and violence and um, anything that's against God's will? And um, am I reading those things? Am I filling my head with those things? Am I watching those things? Am I listening to music that's against God's law, um, love? And um, am I filling my head with all this garbage? Or am I filling my... In Sunday school, we talked about um, stuffing the word down us. Keep pushing it down. Put, put The word is the Bible, the scripture, which is God's word. Um, he gave it to us. And... So we can learn of him and know him. And um, so am I putting God's word in me or am I putting a bunch of trash in me? And so am I living, uh, what kind of movies am I watching? Um, are they pleasing to God? Um, uh, what am I saying? Is the last word I say really the, the word I want to be said last when I die? If, if, if I died the next minute with my last word I just said, be really the word I want to have left as my final memory, um, because I want G I want love. I want to I want to show Jesus to people. I want to show His love and His kindness and His mercy, and He loves us so much. And I just wanted to share that all with you. And I I thank you for listening to me. And I hope you got something out of this. And I just I just love you. And I oh, I hope I hope to hear from you. And um, just have an awesome day and may Jesus be with you.